Jonathan Gullis is the Tory MP for Stoke-on-Trent North, and since his election in 2019, he's been no stranger to controversy. In 2020, he was criticised for calling the media's reporting on COVID deaths a sick obsession. He didn't want them to report on tragedy and Tory failure. Then in 2021, at the Tory party conference, he made headlines after saying anyone using the term white privilege should be reported to the Home Office. And Gullis is back, and he's posted this rather bizarre video online. Since 2019, I've been working hard to deliver over 200 brand new police officers for Staffordshire Police, get new and improved CCTV for Kids Grove Talk and New Chapel, and secure £2 million of funding for Stoke-on-Trent from the Safer Streets Fund. But I want Stoke-on-Trent North, Kids Grove and Talk to get more. And that's why I'm asking you to sign my petition so we can get more alley gates, better street lighting and additional CCTV to help us feel safe across our communities. In places like Smallthorne, where we sadly see scumbags who fly tip their filth in our community. In Cobridge, where scrotes deal and shoot up their drugs, wreaking havoc on our community. And in Tunstall, where savages and their antisocial behaviour causes mayhem for local businesses and local people. So show your support for Safer Streets by signing my petition. <laughs> that was Jonathan Gullis calling his constituents scrotes and savages. Um, and I mean, what's probably most confusing, so he's, he's saying he wants more funding for all this stuff. He's a Tory MP. The Tories have been in power for 13 years. It's their austerity, which caused this. You could say, or maybe he's talking about local politics, Stoke-on-Trent, where he represents the council is also Tory. So who is it? My question to you, Ash, who is this petition directed to? Who's going to receive this petition? The scrotes and the scumbags, Michael, <laughs> cough up to deal with fly tipping. I mean, I mean, what this is, is, is such a classic Tory strategy. And, you know, Jonathan Gullis did not invent it. Uh, it makes me think about a lot of the sort of early 2000s discourses where you had a kind of simultaneous moral panic about chavs and asylum seekers. And the narrative was, okay, well, you've got this sort of like, you know, decent working class, but then beneath that is this horrible underclass made up of like Vicky Pollards and Romanians. And they're the people who are dirty and disruptive and criminal and dangerous. And they're the ones who are responsible for this overall sense of decline that you both feel and can witness in your community. Because, you know, after the factory shut down and transport funding got slashed and the jobs all went somewhere else, you have been able to see firsthand what has happened to the standard of living and the sense of hope and optimism in the place where you live. So these, um, you know, kind of deviant and dirty big O others were really convenient scapegoats for both right-wing politicians and also new Labour politicians. And it was definitely a moral panic which was taken up by the tabloid media of the time, most notably The Sun, News of the World and The Daily Express. And I was doing a little bit of research looking at how the asylum issue was presented back in the early 2000s. And I found this really quite astonishing intervention from the then mayor of Peterborough, who was going, yeah, like Peterborough is now a crime infested shithole and blaming it on asylum seekers. And I was like, bro, you're the mayor. You're the mayor of Peterborough. Like if it's a shithole, it's happening on your watch. But the the strategy is to try and play on people's, you know, very visceral sense of disgust, whether that's on a class basis or a racial basis. So you don't have to take account of uh, accountability as a person in power. It's also just so classically authoritarian that it's sort of like, it's e even if it's somewhat inconsistent, just they just want to make people do stuff. So it's sort of like asylum seekers, ban them from working, single mums, force them to work. People with disabilities force them to prove that they have an incredibly severe disability or force them to work. It's just sort of like, why just leave people alone? You know, so, you know, I suppose people know, like control freakery is something that sort of people understand from their day-to-day -day life. And I feel like it is really translated into politics. So you just got people saying, you should do this. You shouldn't do this. You have to do this. And then anyone who doesn't fall into their really arbitrary categories gets called a scumbag or a savage. I mean, a, sa a savage is particularly extreme. Ash, in your research, have you come across many MPs calling their constituents savages? I mean, I mean, yes, yes, because that was 
the Chav moral panic. I mean, you must remember it, remember it from the 2000s, Michael, where the hoodie as an item of mm. clothing was so stigmatized. It was honestly seen as, you know, the next step was, you know, GBH. You know, you pulled your hood up. The next thing, you know, you know, you're kneecapping people or something. And I remember it used to be like top of the news agenda. Like, should kids in hoodies be allowed in shopping centers? And it is that kind of, you know, little policeman who lives inside every Middle Englander who was being appealed to. And I think that in some ways it spoke to something real, which is a sense of, ab of abandonment by the state. You're being abandoned to a form of decline. But also some of it is that, you know, I think in lots of ways we're, you know, we're, we're a country of school prefects and we kind of you know, we like being authoritarian only as long as we ourselves are not subject to that form of authoritarianism. It's very much rules for thee, but not for me. And, you know, there's a sort of famous saying about conservatism that its very essence is the idea of, you know, there are my friends who the law protects but does not bind, and there are my enemies who the law binds but does not protect. And that is what is being leveraged here, in my opinion. 